Skateboarding came into my life with my older brother. He had bought me a skateboard for my, I think it was like my seventh birthday. And he was basically trying to put me on the right path by telling me that gangs are bad. You know, because my whole family were in gangs. A wound check, left leg, out of the gunshot. Yeah, this stuff feels pink. But then I was about, I think like at least like 13 or 14, the cop came in and just shot my brother. Seeing my, my older brother get shot in the head, you know, it just messed me up. There were really no good memories here. And there were some bad ones. No fond memories here? No. No. Because, you know, like I've said, my life's been, you know, like a, like a roller coaster up and downs. And this is like a down. The problems with my mom are like coming back to haunt me. The whole fact that my brother may be slowly turning into a game banger. And I guess the main one is I probably will never skate again. I think Leo's been through a lot of rough stuff, but I also think that a lot of good things have happened to him, actually. No matter how hot it is outside, you always find shade. Skateboarders over the years never really had a voice. And now we're starting to have a voice. I guess that's what happens when you actually think about what you want.